reaching you live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. This is Sports Tonight. Thanks for joining in. I'm Austin O'Connor on the show tonight. The draw for the UEFA Champions League has been done. So who is ready for the world's biggest club football competition? We are ready for it. We'll talk about it on the show tonight. Also, we will take a look at what uh, we have been talking about. Look, in fact, this morning we said it will be so cool if Luka Modric is named the UEFA Player of the Year. That's what it is. He defeated Cristiano Ronaldo and Mo Salah to win the awards. And that one has been getting a lot of reactions on social media. We will talk about it. Well deserved award for Luka Modric. You think he deserves to win it? You should also be part of that conversation when we get to it on the show tonight. We'll play some table tennis. We'll go to Washington, D.C. Sonny Young is standing by. We'll find out what's going on. Also, Sonny predicted a victory for Dogbe. It seems Dogbe, Isaac Dogbe, watched the show last week and it was done in the first round against his opponent. First round. So Sonny has got some bragging rights tonight on the program when we, when we talk to him. I will give so much attention to grassroots football development. We want to understand the Sheyi Akeumi charity mini tournament for under 13. Uh, the, the good thing about this for us is the semi-finalist from the channel's International Kids Cup Season 10 will come to Lagos to play football. It didn't end there. The boys from Borono... I love their school. It's Abogo Lakema Military Cantonment Primary School in Bew in Borno State. They are already in Lagos. Those guys are back in Lagos, still feeling the power of sports. They will play an exhibition match with Eco Future Stars. And Sheya Kiumi and his team says they will be receiving a special football award. Uh, what's the objective of all of this? To support football, to promote football and education. But they want to support a child with proper education give scholarships to these kids and let them know that talent is not enough. Yes, that's all I've been preaching. Talent is not enough. Education is everything. And that's what we're trying to do with the Sheya Kiyomi uh, on the 13th tournament for boys under the ages of 13. We will talk about it. The, the chairman of the main organizing committee will join us later to let us understand what's really uh, going on with that one. We'll go to um, New York to play some tennis at Flushing Middle. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, any big name casualty? No, not yet. Angela Keba, yes, uh, wanted to give us a scare, but it didn't happen. But you know this, you know what it is? The Williams sisters will be playing in the third round. They love tennis followers are sad. Why now? Yeah. At the Australian Open last year, we saw them in the final. It was beautiful. Serena won. Uh, would have loved to see them uh, later on in the competition. But Serena says, look, support either of us. We're, we're sisters. Just support the Williams sisters. We love the story they are telling with tennis on the show tonight. So much to talk about. So uh, let's bring you into the discussion. What are you talking about? I know you are talking about the UEFA Champions League. Which of uh, the drug got you talking? Um, Real Madrid, was it Juve? Oh, you're still wondering, how did Luka Modric do it? Don't wonder. He did a lot last season with club and then went to the World Cup and single-handedly pushed Croatia to the final. That should get us talking. Talk to us. Our feedback mechanisms are still the same. On Twitter, channels underscore sports. Facebook, channels I think sports. You can send us an email, sports tonight at channelstv.com. It doesn't end there. All our top stories can be viewed on our website, channelstv.com, and on YouTube, for slash channels web. If you log on to m.channelstv.com, you should be able to download the Channels TV app for any of those devices that you see uh, right there on your screen. Let's get on with the show now and I'll find out what's going on as regards our table tennis. The International Table Tennis Federation, ITTF, has listed Nigeria's Aaron Quadri. Yes, we talk about table tennis in Nigeria lately, it's Aaron Quadri. They've listed him among the 20 male players who will be competing at this year's World Cup. The tournament is scheduled to take place from October the 19th to the 21st in Paris, France. Quadri got listed to represent Africa after his sterling performance at the at the 2018 Africa Cup that took place in March in Nairobi, Kenya, 2018, Africa Cup champion Dinamesh of Egypt, we represent the continent, the Women's World Cup, um, built for September the 28th till, till, the, uh, till the 30th in Chengdu, China. 
More updates from the volleyball championship taking place in Nairobi, Kenya, Nigeria's under-20 female team have qualified for the semifinals. They lost their first match to Cameroon, but when they played the host Kenya, they said, no, we cannot start the competition this way, and they ended poorly. And so they defeated Kenya and went on to beat Tanzania. They defeated Tanzania 3-1 today in Nairobi. So the Nigerian girls... Uh, were participating at the Continental Championship for the first time in five years, finished as runners-up in Pool A behind Cameroon. To advance from the group phase, the Nigerian girls beat host Kenya and, of course, Tanzania. So I'll be waiting to see and monitoring how that one will go on right there in Nairobi, Kenya.